Hi everyone, this is Be Divine from BeDivineOnline.com and I hope that you are awesome. The 14th of September is a new moon, okay? And a new moon means that a new start is coming and the new moon is sitting in Virgo. Time to give rather than to take. Give to yourself and have a practical plan. Virgo is focused on work and on service and health yoga, looking after themselves, right? And also making sure that there is nothing that you are holding on to still because you're about to enter into a brand new phase. So you don't want to be taking any of the old stuff with you. If you do want to um, talk about your healing journey or doing some training with me and have international accreditation, you know, all you need to do is go to my website or go to my email. I will help you um, open up your spirituality like never before. If you want a reading, the only way to do it is at my website. And you'll be amazed at all the different choices you have. Okay, but let's get going. What does the goddess have to say? Oops, we've got two cards here. So Sarasvati is talking about expressing yourself through creative activities and Aphrodite is asking you to bring in the inner goddess. Awaken the goddess within you through dance, self-care and appreciating your divinity. Now, the inner goddess, it doesn't matter if you're a, a masculine or a feminine, right? It's bringing out the love for the self, the beauty, the inner beauty and not allowing yourself to be labeled, right, by other people, or even, you know, putting labels upon yourself of how things should be or, you know, how things are supposed to be, um, how you've been taught to be. It's time to break the mold, so to speak. Final card here. Aha. Yamanya brings the golden, I love this card, brings the golden opportunity. Important doors are opening for you, okay, right now. Open them. Walk through them. Trust that the golden opportunities are going to arrive in your life, right? So many people doubt everything that they hear, right? I heard one lady say, divine miracles don't happen. Are you joking me? You know, well, okay, keep right on believing that then and you'll never see it. Okay, so, I mean, I had cancer when I was 24 and uh, I refused to own that in my own body, in my energy. And it was something I found out about when I was having an operation. And it was like I had no choice with what they did to me while I was under anesthetic. And I found this out and I decided right there and then when I was 24 years old, it's a long time ago now, um, no way, no way was I going to live with that energy in my body. So... Miracles happen, and I am absolutely living proof of it in more ways than just that. Okay, so let's get this new moon tarot reading. Be open to receiving a miracle. Don't, you know, it's all about acceptance here. Where are you right now? Where are you right now? Okay, you are on a journey. This is a journey that you're going to meet your mark. You are going to hit your target. You could be traveling, literally. Or your journey is speeding up with regards to your spirituality. With the Eight of Wands, we see things through the air. So it could be that you're actually going on a plane. For some of you, right? For some of you, you are also receiving um, a visitor coming up here very soon. So this is where you are right now. You're in an exciting new phase of your life. You can see the new growth here on the Wands. You've come a long way. So don't give up now. The energy that you are ready for. Okay, you're ready for the battle to be over. The nine of wands is the last step in such a battle. The nine of wands shows this person here who, you know, has this bandage around his head. He's been wounded and, you know, something that happened to him in the past. He's placed all of this protection around him. There's one more pole to put into place and he's done. So you're almost at, um, you're ready for this to be completed and it's almost done. One more thing and then 
it's clear sailing. So any obstacles or blocks, let's have a look at those. Obstacles, blocks. So we have the seven of a coin upside down. Now, look, we don't need to read reversals because the upright position can sometimes be bad enough. But let me tell you, if a reversal will come out just randomly like that, I think we need to read it. So the seven of coins reverse means that you are not potentially seeing all of your uh, abilities. You're not seeing everything that can happen because you're too worried about having some kind of validation perhaps for everything that you do. So, you know, you're not going to step forward unless you know for sure. You're not going to move jobs unless you know it's the right one. You're not going to be with this person in case it's the wrong person. And you might be living your life in lack and therefore not really seeing the abundance and the uh, forward movement that you want because you're pessimistic or you're procrastinating. So this is telling you to let this go. It's a block. It's an obstacle to your future. And if you want things to be a lot easier... We have to recognize our own personal things that we sabotage ourselves with. We just need to be honest with ourselves at what we do and the patterns that we hold. So the path of release here. Look at this. You see the Empress doesn't take anything um, for granted. She is absolutely certain of who she is and her abundance flows because of it. She's not thinking, well, that won't happen to me. Can you imagine? She's not thinking, oh, well, you know, it's nice that other people can have things, but obviously I won't because my life has been da 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 You don't see this from the Empress. So the path of your release is to see yourself, you know, exactly where you want to be and nothing is going to stop it. Now, we can't manipulate other people's free will, we can't make someone come and be with us or make, you know, someone change their mind. We have to focus on our own energy, what it is that we want and, you know, accept nothing less than the best for ourselves, right? And that is the uh, path of release. And here's some guidance for us. What guidance do we need? The devil, okay? Okay. What we need to do is exactly the same thing. We need to see where we are controlled. We need to see what we're addicted to. We need to see what temptations continue to come up, what, where we are allowing drama into our life, where you allow someone to get the better of you, where you allow your anger to just you know tip over a little bit. Why does that all come up? We've got to see our, the, the mechanisms of control that we've had from childhood and see if they are repeating patterns in our life. So let's get further advice about this. Okay, yeah. So this is because of the things that people have done to you and how you've been treated is the reason why you're tempted to give up a little bit on yourself or doubt the existence of things getting better because you're always seeing things being a struggle before something happens. You get to this point of, you know, like it goes, gets really bad and all of a sudden there's a breakthrough. So what you need to do is you need to break the pattern of things having to be difficult before things get better and make it so that every single day something wonderful is occurring for you. And this will, uh, you know, strive you forward or will push you forward, right? And if you need to see evidence of the divine working with you, ask for this to occur and watch for those signs. Uh, everyone talks about number sequences, but also colors that you might see randomly, butterflies that you might see, which always indicate change, little words that people use that just blow you away, right? Know these little subtle things is the opening of all of your abilities as well. Once you start to recognize those, then more and more and more things will come and it will start getting larger and larger for you. Don't, don't let others define who you are. Make a chance to make a, make a change now and move forward into this new moon absolutely fearlessly, knowing the universe has definitely got your back. You are loved and supported every step of the way. Sending you blessings. Hope to hear from you soon. Bye for now. Bye, everybody.